spend time with you, sharing with you some of the tools, techniques, and more importantly, the mindset that allows us to have the life that we want, but more importantly, the life that we deserve. You know I love reading your comments. You know I love just hearing from you and hearing your thoughts and your feedback. On the episode, Why You Control Your Own Joy, oh, L. Germain Russell, you said, I love this, quote, thank you so much for your wisdom, Lisa. My aha moment during your video was the 80-20 circle of energy rule. 80% of my energy in my circle of influence while 20% of my energy should be in my circle of concern. Woohoo! That is everything. I love what you say then. You, say, you go on and say, I'll be reading Seven Habits of Highly Effective People this weekend. That book is just phenomenal. I got to tell you, I didn't understand all of it, to be quite honest with you. I went back and read Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens when my son read it. And that was powerful and it was simplified. So I'm so excited that you're reading El Germain. And Shantae goes on to say, by the way, Shantae, that's my middle name. Quote, unquote, Lisa, this is really good and shareable as always to the same episode. She goes on to say, what I'm walking away with is no one owns your journey. Isn't that something to walk away with? And that I need more like-minded people around me daily. Yeah, don't visit the like-minded people. Stay hanging, remain with the like-minded people and visit those other folks. I love your comments. I love your comments about the same way I love sitting in this backyard, having some time, listening to the airplanes overhead, listening to the water running, listening to the birds. They make my soul feel as good as these experiences do as well. So keep your comments coming. Over the years, I've had to learn how to disconnect myself from people, how to pull away, how to move on without what I call Benihana in people. Now, I don't know if you remember, but if you ever go to a Benihana restaurant, they have those sharp knives and they kind of go and you don't even know that the zucchini is like all diced up until they move it and then everything is cut apart. Well, I used to have a habit of like cutting people off so well, so fast that I felt like I Benny haunted them. Like they didn't know they were like all sliced and diced until they went to walk away and their head fell off and then their arms fell off. And I, over the years, I had to learn how do I complete, by the way, I would say don't break up with people. Don't break away from people. Don't stop being their friends. A better mindset is recognize when the relationship is just complete. Now I say complete, say complete with me. When I say complete, that means the relationship has had every experience that it needs to have. You've done everything you need to do and it's just complete. So you don't have to make people wrong. That was a big lesson for me because we're taught that in order for relationships to end, someone's brains need to be splattered on the ceiling. Well, the older, wiser me recognizes that I can end relationships from people who I've outgrown are people who might be toxic, or people who are just not a fit for me, and also leave their dignity intact. Key word. I want you to write that down, type that in chat, because there is a way that you can complete with people. Notice I'm using these key words with you. You can complete with people, meaning every experience that we need to have, we've had. And now I'm complete. That you can do that and leave their dignity intact. You can say this relationship has run its course. You don't have to outline everything that's not working because, you know, when we outline things that are not working, all we're doing is making people wrong. So let me just say, the way you complete a relationship is to first check your ego because your ego, or ladies, your she-go, whoo, they will get in the way and what you want to do is point, 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 point. I'm, I'm done with you because of this this and this and we all know when you point one finger over there the three fingers point back at you we've all heard it but more importantly than that is can you give people the gift if you're really on this journey called transformation can you give people the gift of completing a relationship with them while leaving their dignity intact let me show you how 
because I have to learn this one. So you want to write this down. So number one, when you go into a relationship, when you, when you go into a conversation, number one, when you go into a conversation that needs a course correction or that you're going to complete with, you don't want to go in and say, I have to talk to you about something. Something isn't working because you're neutral. So you go into that relationship already at zero. You're neutral. Now follow me with this. You got to really pay attention. So eliminate all distractions right now. You don't want to go into a relationship that's going to be difficult at neutral. You want to go into the relationship at plus, plus, plus. Okay. So you might hear some noise in the background. Don't worry about that. I'm sitting in my backyard. It's summertime. I have kids playing. It's summertime. They're free. Waterfalls are flowing. So I'm not going to bother to stop the recording so we have a perfect situation. Life ain't perfect. I'm going to keep going because you need this lesson like some people need life at times, right? So you go into a conversation at zero when you say, I need to talk to you about something. Instead, I want you to think of it this way. When you go in at zero and then you say, what's, go what's wrong? I need to talk to you. This doesn't work for me. This doesn't work for me. Every time you say this doesn't work for me, you go down one notch. Negative one, negative two, negative three, right? Most people do that. Almost everyone does that. Look, we need to talk. As soon as you say that, people are like, oh, what? And then you go on to all the things that doesn't work, that don't work for you, right? Well, that takes them down. Negative one, negative two, negative three. You never get back up, which is why brain splatter ends up on the ceiling because you can never get up to neutral again. You, you started and you took them down and you, you guys couldn't get back out. Let's try this. So I want you to get a piece of paper out and I want you to write zero and draw a line like 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 it's a it's a it's a guiding line and write zero right in the center of that line and then write negative one negative two negative three below the line instead of starting with I need to talk to you about something and going into what's wrong I want you to start every challenging conversation and I want you to take them up plus them think about it plus three me plus three me plus three me right which means I need to talk to you about something First of all, what I want to tell you is what I love about you, plus one. What I respect about you is, plus two. What I appreciate and honor you for, plus three. What I realize is that I'm really complete with this relationship. There are parts of it that's not serving me anymore, and it's time for me to move on. Plus two. I need to love you from a distance. I just need space, plus one. And um, I need that space to begin now, zero. Still a hard conversation, but now you've ended at zero versus negative three. Still not easy to have. I didn't say it was going to be easy. But when you plus three me, you actually add value and add energy to who I am and affirming me. Because even in the worst relationship, even in the most negative situation, you can find things to love people for, to appreciate them for, and to honor them for. And then they're the things that, doesn't, that don't work. Plus three me, and then course correct me. Plus three me, and then complete with me. Plus three me before you do anything else. So in any conversation with the a coworker, with a child, with a loved one, with a romance, a romantic interest, with a friend, plus three me. And then let's manage what can be fixed, adjusted, or shifted in our relationship. Remember, this is not a monologue. No way, Jose. I am not interested in being the only person talking here. I want to hear from you. Your words mean everything. I think what makes this channel so unique and so delicious and so dynamic is the conversations that we have in chat uh, around the videos, around the messages. I would love to hear from you. What conversation have you had in the past and you needed this technique? What conversation is up for you to have in the future? And you are so glad that you now have this technique. Remember, plus three me, plus, 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 then go down and course correct. Most importantly, in every conversation, remember to leave their dignity intact. That's what you owe, not them, but that's what you owe the person that you've committed to being. I'm your sister in prosperity and in possibility. And when I say that I believe in you and that I love you, it's because I do. Leave me a comment, subscribe. Ah. There.
where I spend time.